Hello dear friends, today we will see how a given relation can be solved, can be shown as an equivalence relation. So let us see solving this example. You consider this question, show that the relation capital R in the set capital A is equal to the set of all x which is an element of z. All x are integers under the condition that 0 is less than or equal to x which is less than or equal to 12 given by the what's the relation given as you see r is equal to set of all a b such that a b r both are integers and magnitude of a minus b is a multiple of 3 so this is the given relation magnitude of a minus b is a multiple of 3 is an equivalence relation apart from that one more thing to show also find the set of all elements related to one so concentrate on the given definition given set and the given definition let us go to solve this equation uh, for the first step we will show that the given relation is reflexive for that what we are going is consider given r is the set of all a b given relation to show that given relation is reflexive we will consider a single element so what we are considering is you consider a single element a which is an element of the given set a to show that a function is a relation is reflexive you we should consider the element is related to the same element how to write a related to a an element related to the same element following the given definition this implies magnitude of here a and b are not possible in fact a and a are possible the element is related to the same element therefore magnitude of a minus a instead of b you must write a is a multiple of three that means a minus a gives a zero. Zero is a multiple of three, which is a true statement. Therefore, easily we prove that the given relation R is reflexive. Let us go to the next step where we will show that the given relation R is symmetric. To show that the given relation R is symmetric, we should start with A related to B and end up in B related to A under equal statements. For that you consider two elements a and b which is an element of the given set a given relation a related to b implies magnitude of a minus b is a multiple of three this implies in magnet inside magnitude of magnitude symbol even if we see a minus b or b minus a both are equal therefore this can be rewritten as magnitude of b minus a is a multiple of three this corresponds to the statement b related to a Therefore, starting with A related to B, we end up at B related to A. Thus, we showed that this relation is symmetric. For the third one, transitivity, you consider A, B, C. Three elements are elements. You, you see, stepwise, we are progressing. For reflexivity, we consider a single element. Symmetry, two elements. And for transitivity, three elements are considered now a related to b and b related to a. simultaneously bo both relations are considering first a related to b gives magnitude of a minus b is a multiple of three b related to c gives b minus c is a multiple of three combining both we can say a minus b and b minus c are multiples of three since both are multiples of three their sum is also a multiple of three when minus b and plus b cancels we ended at a minus c is a multiple of 3 when a minus c is a multiple of 3 definitely modulus of a minus c also multiple of 3 this gives a related to c therefore starting with a r b and b related to c we get a related to c thus we proved that the given relation is transitive transitive hence we conclude that capital r is an equivalence relation it being reflexive symmetric and transitive now to show what are the elements related to the element one consider the given relation r as set of all a b a b element of z magnitude of a minus b is a multiple of three remember the given set a set of all x where x varies from 0 to 12 including both now to find the set of elements related to one you consider one in case or in place of this a that means this definition changes to modulus of 1 minus b is a multiple of 3 
now you pick different elements from allotted 0 to 12 in place of b so that the sum or the number is a multiple of 3 that means 1 minus you consider the first element 0 1 minus 0 1 is a multiple of 3 wrong that means 0 is not allowed take the second one 1 that means 1 minus 1 is a multiple of 3 0 is a multiple of 3 which is a true condition therefore 1 is an element related to 1 the next element in such a way will be 4 next one 7 next one 10 next one 13 will be there but 13 is not an element in the given set therefore we ended up 1 4 7 10 are the elements related to 1 and is known as the equivalence class of 